After Aletta and Bud, what comes next? We have a Carlota. Right now in the Pacific and the Atlantic, we are eyeing three tropical systems and they're both pretty weak overall. In the Pacific, we have good old dying, but I'll get to that in a second. And we have brand new tropical storm Carlota. And then when you turn your eyes to the Atlantic, there's just a huge area of disorganized thunderstorms. And that's where the National Hurricane Center has a 10% chance of forming within the next five days. It was actually funny because before the advisory, before this one right now, the National Hurricane Center was giving an a 0% chance. The National Hurricane Center was like, this system does not look like it's going to form. No models are picking it up, but it's just going to bring some tropical moisture to Texas. So let's give this a 10% chance of forming just to keep an eye on it. But the advisory we have for Bud right now is probably the very last advisory because the circulation of Bud is just not there right now at the moment at all. That's because it's a tropical depression, 35 miles per hour. It's in the coolest waters of the Pacific after it has made landfall in the Baja California Peninsula. Right now, tropical depression Bud is already bringing some thunderstorms and much needed rain to both Arizona and New Mexico. And kind of much needed phrase is kind of going to be a theme for this video because I'll get to in a second. But Texas also needs some much needed to drink. The tropical storm Bud made landfall near Cabo San Lucas Thursday night as just a tropical storm with around 40 miles per hour. Not going to do much damage wind wise, but there could be some minor rain flooding in that bottom tip of the Baja California Peninsula. Nothing much from Bud's landfall as a weak, weak tropical storm, but remember it was once a Cap 4 and if that made landfall, that would have been very, very scary. In the last video, we were highlighting a possible disturbance out in the Pacific right next to Bud that could possibly form into Carlota. And guess what? 40 hours later, we have Tropical Storm Carlota at 40 miles per hour. In the last video, I also said that if this disturbance were to form, it was going to have much time forming since it was heading north straight into the mainland of Mexico. And that's right, it's not going to get much higher than a mid-level tropical storm. There's actually a tropical storm warning in effect on the coast of inland Mexico from Ticapan de Galini all around to Pinote Pa Nacional. All these Hispanic names are quality. But Carlota is expected to make landfall as a mid to high level tropical storm tomorrow morning. If it had more time over these warm Pacific waters, it would sure become a hurricane, maybe even Cat 4 status, but it's only having the short time to form and it's going to make landfall and do some minor- it looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. And it's going to make landfall near the coastal city of Marquella. It's not going to do major damage at all. The wind damage is going to be super minor and the flooding is going to be spotty. But these past two weeks in the Pacific have been ridiculous. A letter to a Cat 4, a Bud to a Cat 4 making landfall in Baja California, and Carlotto to make landfall as a tropical storm. While all of this was happening in the Pacific, really nothing was happening in the Atlantic after Alberto at the end of May. I'll say the Atlantic has been completely quiet for about 17 to 18 days at this point. But I do have to say that a tropical disturbance may form, although it only has a 10% chance of forming, at the northwestern part of the Gulf of Mexico right next to the coast of Texas. This area of thunderstorm sure doesn't look like it's going to form because it's still at 1,012 millibars. That's just one fact there, but the wind shear is just tearing this thing apart. But even if this invest doesn't even form, this tropical moisture is going to make its way to inland Texas, even coastal Texas, that is, and it's going to bring some 5 to 8 inches at the most in some areas. This tropical rain event is not going to be another Hurricane Harvey. I'm going to repeat that again. This is not going to be another Hurricane Harvey, so anyone in Texas can relax. And this rain event is actually going to be beneficial for some areas in Texas that have been under some severe drought in the past few months. We're still in the very early phase of the hurricane season and we still have a lot more to come. But already three named storms in the Pacific and one in the Atlantic. Things are definitely going to spice you up later on in the season. So I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers and I'll see you in the next one for another Tropical Update.